$10,000. Are you kidding me? What's up? I'm Moana Turtle, and today we're going to be looking at the Pokemon market and specifically around some hidden fate stuff. Obviously, see how some of the other age sets are aging. And apparently, there was a card that was sold for $10,000. So, we'll take a quick look at that. I'm not sure if that's real. But, all right, let's get into this. The first thing we're going to start off with is in the event that people are still having trouble getting um, their Hidden Fates tins at MSRP, you can pre order it on GameStop. So, there's a couple gotchas here. So, we'll start off with that. But uh, in case you guys aren't familiar with this subreddit, I definitely recommend you check it out. Uh, so this is Poke Pokemon TCG Deals. Uh, they have a lot of, they're not the best, but they're pretty good about uh, bubbling up sales. Uh, for example, like this GameStop pre-order one. So uh, here you can pre-order it and there was like a 25% off thing, but that does not apply here. However, you can get 3% back. Uh, using Rakuten. So if you're not familiar with Rakuten, it used to be called Ebates, and then I'm guessing Rakuten per, uh, acquired it. So you can get 3% back. So you kind of combine like, you know, any kind of cash back from your credit card with Rakuten, and this stuff can start to pile up. And so if you don't already have a Rakuten account, I basically, I recommend you get one. We'll put a link down in the description, and it's essentially free, and you kind of like accrue, you know, it's not a lot. It's like a couple percent up, uh, on every purchase, but it does add up over time. But for GameStop, so they do sell at the MSRP of $20 and they will ship it to you uh, wherever, uh, you know, anywhere in, definitely in the US at least. Um, but uh, the gotcha is that, or the free shipping if you get over $50, so that means you do have to purchase three, but the gotcha is that the shipping to get it on release day is $10. Um, otherwise, if you do want the free option, let's take a look. You do get it like, I think they say like maybe four days later. So let me just go to checkout. Uh, let's just continue as guest. But yeah, here, here's like the, the important information. Day one, you have to pay an extra 10 bucks. Uh, Express, which is also, I think, um, actually if you, if you have spend enough, like I think it's $5 for Express and then the the slow one, which is two to four business days after release, you can get it for free. So this is kind of, I only recommend this if you don't have a GameStop um, that you can just walk into uh, because that way you just get on release day. But you know, in the event that there's no GameStop near you and you're in the US, you can kind of get this free shipped. Actually, I'm not sure if it's limited to US, but um, you can get it for free, but you'll just get it later. So yeah, just a, another tip and I imagine that you can do the same thing for the ETBs in the near future. So it's definitely stay out on the look for that. Uh, my main point here is don't pay any of the, at least in the US, apologies to everyone else, um, especially in Australia. But uh, you know, don't pay those outrageous prices um, if you don't have to. So let's take a look at what else is going on the market. I feel like Trolling Toad is always a little bit inflated, but I feel like it's kind of cool to see how things are selling. This one I find particularly interesting. So the shiny Charizard still going for 450, but I feel like I check this site multiple times a day and half the time it's sold out and it has like the email me when more comes in. So I feel like they're actually, they're moving uh, a good number of them at this 450 price, which is just insane. <laughs> Cynthia for 110 still. Uh, trying about 70, which is still I think is kind of high. Lele is, is going down, even at Troll and Toad, it is our 70, and then you have like the rest of them. Um, a couple people have been speculating, especially in comments, that once like the the tins hit, like this will just kind of like add a lot of supply for the secondary market, and I'm hoping this will kind of drive prices down. Uh, the fact that the, the Zard is still like four, 450 or 400, you know, I'm not sure. Maybe this guy is. Like, it doesn't apply to him, but I can hope. Uh, as far as pre-orders go, what's one other thing I want to hit? Um, so Game Nerds, they did post a couple of new things for the 2019 Collector's Chest. This is the thing with the Armored Mewtwo. Uh, I, I only think this thing is really good if it concludes Hidden Fates, but I don't think, historically, I don't think they have included Hidden Fates. They also had this Generations thing, which will have the breaks in, Charizard breaks in, and then Venusaur 
uh, Snivy uh, uh, tag teams for promos and a bunch of packs. Um, so my point here is they're already sold out, um, but if you do kind of like go into the listing, you can kind of ask them for email. So in my, like in my experience, Game Nerd does kind of like do waves. I feel like after a couple waves, it's gone for good. But if that's something you want to look for, I just recommend putting your email down. Um, sometimes they're like, hey, we got some more. It doesn't last long, but it can give you a heads up for that. All right, let's go to TCG player. Uh, so I find that TCG player actually, uh, eBay is probably like where you can get the cheapest play prices compared to TCG player. And Charizard, <laughs> uh, as low as $500. This is, I cannot believe this. So yeah, the cheapest you can find it. There's only three listing. One is a thousand, yeah, that's silly. 600 and then 500 and there were more like in the recent past so that just to me that just means that these things are still moving and man that's so crazy let's take a look at the other stuff so we'll keep, keep an eye on like the highest one Cynthia sorry got a lot of traffic outside uh, Cynthia as low as a hundred still so doing pretty healthy only five listings there and then Lele for 65 so I feel like Lele is going down Shrine still hovering around that 50 uh, then Mewtwo coming around on 55 Let's take a look at eBay, how if those are kind of like lining up. Uh, so Charizard, so the thing about eBay is if you try to set up some alerts, I get like a daily email about some prices, but like sometimes people do put it up for like, they just not might not be familiar with the trend. So they put it at, for, so my point here is this one sold for 190. Uh, that thing probably got listed and like sold like in minutes. But if you do keep an eye out, maybe you can get a steal. Uh, these are not steals, by the way. Definitely don't pay these ridiculous prices. Oh my gosh. I'm not sure if this is real. Black Label, BGS, Hidden Fates, Pristine 10. I believe Black Label means it got all 10s for $10,000. Yes, I believe the Black Label is for all 10s because you can get like a 9.5 and still get a 10, I believe. This thing sold for $10,000. Um, I'm not an eBay expert, but I think this means that multiple people were bidding on it. So that's not just like two people just like inflate the price and maybe it's like, a, not a scam, but like not real or they won't pay. But I cannot believe this, this set just came out. How can, no matter what it's great, how can it sell for $10,000? We're like not even, we're, we're in just the beginning of like the waves of supplies. So this is mind boggling. So price is super high, price is super low. If you keep an, keep a, keep an eye out for them, one for 185, that is a steal. I would, if I saw that, I would definitely have gobbled it up. These uh, pin collections, don't buy it at these prices. Uh, but yeah, then they're still going. So these are all sold listings. 500, 450, 470. Oh my gosh, a hundred dollar one, what? Man, all right, I, I need to set up better filters or check on this more often. So prices are all over the place. If you can get a steal for, you know, less than 200, that's amazing. All that seems to be going four, four to five. If you do BGS grant, you get a 10. Apparently it can be worth $10,000. Oh my gosh. All right, let's see what else we got. Cynthia, uh, it does look like you can get significantly cheaper on eBay. So anywhere between, eh, it's about like high 70s uh, or higher. But I wonder if that, I feel like, I have no idea what's gonna happen with the Charizard. I'm still shocked the price is still so high. But I do think everything else, if there's particular ones you want, uh, I do agree with people that have been commenting that, you know, the tins, maybe they'll be a little bit easier to acquire than the pin collections. And a lot more will enter the market and then to help drive the prices down. I do, I do think the Cynthia Shrine of Punishment will fall under those categories. Same thing for Lele. I think this thing started around like close to 100. Now they're kind of like already down to uh, sometimes 50s, 70s, um, 60s or so like that. So I expect those prices to continue to drop, which is great. Uh, a lot like for anyone trying to complete a master set, like oh god, just hold off. Uh, I don't know. I have no idea what's gonna happen for Charizard, but everything else pretty confident the price will go down uh, Mewtwo the last one we'll keep an eye on oh my gosh 35 that's a I feel like that's a pretty good deal so that's another one that if you keep an eye out that you could probably get some good deals on eBay 
and uh, this is this is like current listing so we'll ignore that one and let's lastly let's take a look at how some of the older sets are kind of aging and um it's unclear like what is a good sign but to me if, if things are more affordable i kind of just find that a good thing uh, i don't really recommend like having a hardy collection of anything too new uh Reshi's are maybe the exception but that even that one the price is going down like i feel like a couple months ago they were hovering around 200 now they're already down to 170 in fact if there's any cars that you're looking to pick up that are uh from previous sets when next time they have a like tcg player cashback thing uh i i think it's worth picking up like a Reshi's are for 170 um if i had to guess i think it'll still continue to go down Unified Minds, the biggest uh, biggest hitter is that Mew Mewtwo tag team with Cherish Ball coming up behind. Even the Mew Mewtwo, I think when this first dropped, uh, I think it was like 100, and now it's down to 76. Cherish Ball around 45. Cherish Ball is such a good card. Like I'm surprised it's not higher to be honest. Especially for Unified Mind, I guess the hits, the hit ratios. Oh man, I apologize. Uh, temperature hasn't been that high, so I don't need the AC right now. So that means a lot of noise coming in from the window. But yeah, I'm surprised Cherish Ball is hovering around 45. Rooting Forest, not that bad either, but Cherish Ball, such a good card. Uh, Picaram coming in. See, like, Team Up, I feel like, is a very good example. Like, you know, the price continues to go down. Uh, Drachi coming in at 27 on TCG Player. Uh, Lost Thunder Custom Catcher is the top, followed by Zero Aura. That's not very surprising. Even this one, oh, I, so I did not pick up a Ultra Cosmo when they had that cashback thing. I was, I was very tempted, but it seems like the price is continuing to go go down. And this guy is now at 50, oh, that's a mod play, actually. Let's take a look at Near Mint. Maybe we could satisfy, uh, actually, even that one. Near Mint for less than 60 bucks. So it seems like the price continues to go down. Um, I'm not sure how low it get, but that's definitely one I'm considering picking up just to add to the collection. And then lastly, the OG Rainbow Charizard, still near mint for 250. So that price, this one I imagine probably won't move. Ooh, there is one for 210. Hello, 215. Uh, you might be hard pressed to find a cheaper price. Maybe you can get one on eBay, but uh, yeah, that's not bad. I imagine 250 would be kind of like where it hovers around for some time. There's not even that many on the market, so. But uh, yeah, this guy sold for ten thousand dollars. Absolutely insane. Um, so that's going to be it for this episode of the Pokemon Market. Uh, I'm wondering if we can call it like Pokemon or something like that. But anyway, if there's other things you want to want us to track on this series, let me know in a comment down below. I'm very curious of what it is that you guys want to hear about because a lot of different things we can look. We can look at some base set stuff, um, some PSA things, uh, specific promos, Japanese promos, things like screen promos, shinies, gold stars. Let me know what you're interested in hearing about. About like we'll probably do this like once a week. So um, yeah, I'm lo really looking for your some of your feedback to kind of like hone in on what people is pop what people want to hear about. So let me know. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe all down below. I'm Wanna Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.